everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at a new product from Forest River. Well, not a new product, a new floor plan from Forest River. This is the 2020 Forest River FR3 model 33DS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, my name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel that gives you the true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. So if you find reviews like this useful, consider subscribing. And again, today we are taking a look at the FR3 model 33DS. This is Forest Rivers entry level class A gas motorhome. It's gonna compete with their Georgetown GT3s. It's gonna compete with a Coachman Pursuit and a Thor Ace. Really great price point class A gas motorhome. Now, let's get started. Model is 33 DS, but the actual tip to tip length is 34 feet 10 inches. This is on the F53 chassis with the 19.5 inch tires. You have a nice big windshield right there. And coming down the side, you do have cameras on your left side and right side, right there. Plastic mirrors, price point motorhome. And you do have a power awning right here with LED lights. Coming down the side, you do have an exterior television. This is upfitted with more ride chassis lift. Uh, it makes the ride better, but everybody does something like that. So, you know, it just is what it is. Over here, you do have your hydraulic auto leveling right there and some batteries. You have some storage over here. And some more storage right here. What I really like about these storage units is it is plastic and there is a drain hole right there. So if it does get wet or moisture in it, you can drain it out. And right here, it's just a little access panel for you to get in. You do have a 10 gallon DSI water heater. It does run off both propane and electric. You don't have frameless windows, which again, isn't like the worst thing in the world entry level and then coming down the side here you have a little bit more storage right here you have a propane quick connect if you do want to have a grill on the outside and then right here wow look at that storage that's a great amount of storage for a class a motorhome that's awesome and what's really unique is See this slide out here? A lot of times you'll lose this storage when you have a slide out, but not this time. That's a nice feature. Coming around the back, you do have a bumper, which I'm a huge fan of. A 5,000 pound hitch and you can tow 5,000 pounds. Right up there is your backup camera. And you do have a ladder for the roof. It is a one piece fiberglass roof. Let's go up there and take a look. Great, up here on the roof, you can see that it is a one piece fiberglass roof. You have not one, but two air conditioning systems, which is really nice. Right up there is your King Air digital antenna. And yeah, it is prepped so you can put some Max Air fans in it. They don't do that because of price point, but I recommend getting that done. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his ass, climb up on the ladder, show you what features the roof has to offer. Coming around, finishing up with the driver's side. This is the other side of your storage. There's your 50 amp power cable. We will be coming back to this with the three things I love and three things I don't love, but I'll let that be a mystery to you if it's a positive or a negative. You'll have to stick around. Right here's your gas fill up. It is an 80 gallon fuel capacity. Oh, and I'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, widths, prices, dimensions, 
cargo carrying capacities, all that stuff down in the description below. More storage. I tell you what, this has a good amount of storage for what it is. Here's your sanitation station, fresh water fill, black tank flush, dump valves. That's a little unique, right? Or no, no it's not. That's a sewer hole. Is that a holder? Oh no, that's where you dump it. Yep, a little weird right there how it's exposed in an outside shower and everything. Then look at this. That's a little weird too. Oh, maybe because it's a bigger fridge. Mm -hmm. More storage. Look at this. Here you have a Cummins with no G 5500 gas generator. You know, a lot of people online are hating me, Will. Really? Yeah, for real. They're like, there's no G. There's no G. There you go. And then finishing up with the outside, here is your propane. Right there. Great. The outside of this RV looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. forgot that storage compartment right there. What storage compartment? Right there to the left. Where? Up top. Well, this Matt's RV reviews, stop correcting me. Even when I'm, when I'm right, I'm right. And when I'm wrong, I should have been right. No, it's okay. <laughs> Man, look at this. That's a great amount of storage there. I stopped production for that. Thank you, Will. <laughs> you know what? Where's Jen today? I like it better when she films. No, I'm just kidding. Jeez. What's going on with the step? The battery's dead. God dang it. How are we going to get the slide out out? Start the... Oh. Turn the generator on. We have no fuel. Turn it off. Now back on. Oh. Oh, Watch shit. yourself. Alright, you got it, Will. Come on in. Great. So here inside the 33DS, this is what it looks like when the slide outs are closed. This is what it's like when you're driving down the road. And why I like it is because you can make it all the way back to the bedroom and somebody can actually lay on the bed while you're in transit. And it's easy to get to the uh, bathroom right there. Cool. Oh, can you put that emergency brake on? Yep. And if I could, I have two favors to ask everybody. Leave down in the comments below, let me know three things you like about this motorhome, and let me know three things you don't like about this motorhome. The more comments and thumbs up I get, the more YouTube likes to promote this video, and the people at Forest River, they will be watching this and reading your comments, so they'd love to hear your feedback. And if you haven't already, well, tell everybody about your new YouTube channel with Jen. Me and Jen have a new YouTube channel. It's um, just called Will and Jen, so make sure to subscribe. You're you're so charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out their new YouTube channel. Their latest video is right up there. And me, Will, and Jen, we all went to the Hershey RV show, and they're having a travel vlog because they're going to be living in a fifth wheel. Hey, we're going to start up here. Okay. So to get started in the driver's area, here's the passenger. You have a nice slide out tray. This is very Integra coach like, so I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, right here you do have the table that comes in and out. And then this is kind of, oops. And this is your control panel, your radio dashboard, left and right blinker in reverse. 
and then over in the driver's seat you know when you're driving it's a nice comfortable ride you have the big windshield your auto leveling right here Ooh. oh yeah not quite like the diesels and then what's nice is you do have a mirror right here uh, so you can kind of keep in the conversation while driving down the road now you do have a bunk over the cab and I can't show it to you because we need the engine on and it won't come down with the engine on but what's nice about this bunk over the cab is that it does sit on this lip here so if it breaks or malfunctions you can still drive while going down the road something I'm a big fan of in the kitchen area is this nice dinette I love the back padding here it makes it so you can sit like this you got your cup holders while going down the road this does drop down to make a bed and you do have these blinds right here now frameless windows are better than these types of windows but I don't hate these windows I actually kind of like these windows because you can open them up for you know nice ventilation and airflow Actually, I gotta keep that open. I think I forgot to mention this is a 50 amp motorhome, and we know that because when we saw a 50 amp cord, two it has the 5500 generator, and three it has the two AC units. Over here in the kitchen, you have a countertop extender. Over here, you have a nice dual stainless steel sink. This shows. There's other floor plans like the 32DS, which is a bunk model. And if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll have a link for it right there. You have a three cooktop burner with glass topper there. Very nice. You have an oven right here. Oh, and that exterior storage. Oh, no. It's just hidden storage. I thought. See, that would have been cool that if it led to that thing outside, but it doesn't. And right here you have a microwave convection oven. And what's nice is it does give you a regular oven. And look at this. Okay, it's supposed to be like that. Old Jebediah had it again, putting the latches on upside down. <laughs> oh yeah, pull out peninsula right there. And more storage right there. And it is nice because it is hidden hinge cabinetry. Over here you got more storage. A nice big 50 inch flat screen television with fireplace. Does not swivel. But you have these nice recliner chairs right here. Oh yeah, living the sweet life. This is very nice. And then look at this fridge. I love this fridge. This is a nice two-way fridge. Does run off both propane and electric, which is nice. And what's real nice in this price point, most of the time, they, they, they don't put those residential fridges in, but they'll only put the one fridge in. This is the cheaper fridge, because it's not the residential fridge, but it's the bigger one. It's the best of the worst, or the worst of the best, however you want to phrase it. I actually really like that fridge like that. Then you have more storage there. And this looks like it could be some sort of desktop countertop area. Over here in the bathroom. Plastic. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, I'm not kidding. It is plastic. But don't worry. You can swap it out for a porcelain toilet. And what's more important than being plastic or porcelain is the placement. See what I'm saying? See what I'm doing? What if the door's closed? Hold! Hold! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and then I love how it goes right. has a pocket door, which I'm a big fan of. Actually pretty good on uh, countertop space right there. And you have this nice shower. It's a nice 36 by 30 shower with uh, glass doors. Thank you, William. There you go. Actually, pretty decent bathroom other than the porcelain toilet. You know, I'm not gonna lie. No, very nice bathroom. I like that bathroom a lot. Then you have this pocket door for the master bedroom. King size bed. I love this window here 
these these RVs, this is a 34 foot motorhome, so it's relatively small and it makes it so it's not as claustrophobic. King bed does not have the tilt of view. Big fan of sleep app stations right there. Look at that, big wardrobes, big pantries area. Storage right there. I think we got storage under the bed? I don't think so. Oh, hang on a second. Nope, I don't think that's supposed to open. No. Is there storage? No. No. No storage under the bed. But that's it. That wraps up the uh, 2020 FR3 33DS. Now, before you leave, it's time for me to give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. What should I do first? Three things you dislike. Dislike? Okay, very easy. Well, no, no, hang on. Not very easy. Just, I already knew them. One. I dislike this computer tray. Four just does it so much better with a solid computer tray. Because when you're going down the road, you see what I'm saying? It's going to be wobbling and stuff. Not a fan of that. Two. I hate these twist locky doors. I double hate the fiberglass doors, but this is a price point motorhome. So you're not gonna get the aluminum slam latch doors, but you can at least get the slam latch, not this twisty crap, you know? And I'm not like hating on this product. I actually really like this product. Um, our buddies Ace do it the same way. It's just so stupid. Yo, that food smells good. It, smells it like does, it. yeah. I don't even like it. And then three, if you couldn't tell from the beginning, this is a dislike. So, there's no auto transfer switch. So, with your 50, I don't want to unplug it. You unplug that to plug it into your campsite. And then, when you're done with it, you have to take it. Instead of just rolling up your power cord, you have to plug it back into this so the motorhome runs off generator power. No auto transfer switch. That shouldn't be a deal breaker for anybody. It's just a dislike. Now the three things I like about the motorhome. I love the bunk over the cab. We didn't even mention the weight. 500 pounds, bunk over the cab. I think. 500 pounds in the bunk over the cab. These things break, they're motors, they're whatever, they're brake. So the fact that you can still make it home, you should not drive with the bunk over the cab down, but the fact that you can is a huge plus. Number two, I like this big refrigerator. So. I like what's called the X package. It used to be an option, now it's a standard. FR3 used to have an option, it was called the X package. It gave you two AC units, 50 amp with a 5500 generator, and this bigger fridge. It was so popular, now they just did it across the board. This price point, this motorhome, oh crap! You don't get that. <laughs> you know what we forgot, Will? What? MSRP. Uh, MSRP. This might be a little bit more expensive than the Ace. Sorry y'all for making you wait, but if you're in this part of the video, you deserve to know the MSRP, so thank you. MSRP, $145,259. I'm not an expert. Seems a little pricey. I'm looking at that Ace, and that Ace is $138,511. So $7,000 more than an Ace? I don't know. I'll let you guys be the ones to decide. Whatever, whatever one you like. And then finishing up with my third thing that I really love about this motorhome, this bathroom. This bathroom is almost perfect. I love the shower. I love the cabinetry. I love the space. Look, there's even more stuff. Oh, shit! Damn! This has a combo washer dryer and an entry-level motorhome? 
And you weren't even going to say anything. I had no idea, y'all. You almost effed up. Y'all, I apologize for my sins. Man, okay. Four things I like about this motorhome. <laughs> I can't believe it has a combo washer dryer. Now, you know what's about to happen, Will? What? It's going to be a couple haters. I know who you are, and I look at you, and I read... By the way, I read every comment, and I reply to every comment, even the negative ones. And I check out your YouTubes, and if you leave a negative comment, you better watch out, because I'm watching your videos as well, and I'm going to leave a negative comment on yours. <laughs> but uh, there's going to be people leaving negative comments saying, oh, you should have walked over the motorhome first. I don't know. I like being surprised. Don't you like that? Anyway, I love this bathroom. It's almost perfect. We can swap out the plastic toilet for a porcelain toilet. Not a problem whatsoever. So overall, great motorhome. Can I give price. one thing I like? Sure. Okay. Okay, Jen. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I talked to the factory rep one time, and I didn't even know this. Well, if you're gonna talk, you gotta do it in selfie mode. Oh, I thought you were gonna record me. Oh, sorry, bro. No, you're fine. Um, I was working on selling one of these a couple months ago, and ended up not buying it, but that's okay. Um, but I was talking to the factory rep. One thing that I actually really like about it is you might not be able to tell from the video, but it's actually a wider door. I'm like a pretty big guy, round and tall. So having the, the wide door just makes it easy. Makes it a lot easier to get in and out. And his point was, you know, makes it easy for older people too. So yep, that's one thing I like. What did Barry Hughes say? Cocktails, babies, and groceries? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, let's go outside and wrap this thing up. That wraps it up. Thanks so much for checking out our video. If you could, again, do me a huge favor. Leave down in the comments below. Let me know three things you like about the FR3, and let me know three things you don't like about the FR3. I really don't care which one you get. I just want you guys to uh, leave down in the comments below so Forest River, FR3, Thor, and all the manufacturers, they can make improvements to these motorhomes. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly. My, here's my phone number. My email is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. And check out my new website that Jen created, www.mattsrvreviews.com. If you want to see the other FR3 video, I'll have a video right there. And if you want to see a competition to the FR3, I'll have a video right there. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe to Will and Jen's YouTube channel because they're about to hit the road on their adventure. Thanks so much, everybody. I'll see you next time.